So Red Day this year, we were looking for a special project to do in the community. And I just happened to get an email and it was like from a Make-A-Wish Foundation and uh, a little girl was wanting a backyard um, oasis. So I reached it back out to Make-A-Wish to see if that was a project we could take on, thinking that it may be local here. And um, of course it wasn't. So I put that out to Mindy and to a few other people on our leadership team here at our office. And um, they brought up the idea of Riley. She was uh, suffering from cancer. Maybe she had a wish that we could make come true to her. So uh, David was able to reach out to her at school. She has such a great attitude. I asked her one day in PE uh, what, she, what she would like uh, in her life. And she said a tree house or a clubhouse. And so uh, I contacted Eric Frazier uh, of course, the office, Mindy and Laura and Lori and everyone down here, and, and we started to make a plan, and the plan just really came together with uh, a whole lot of support. So we have a team of 40. Not only did they and their spouses, a lot of them wanted to join and children, but members of the community said, hey, we would love to help out on this. How can we make this happen? We knew that people would want to come and participate in this project. And so we saw the opportunity to be able to raise some money for the family in addition to building this clubhouse. And so we said one project, two roosts, right? So we have a roost for Riley, and then we're working on um, essentially providing a roost for the Roth family during their stay in Portland. For Riley's bone marrow transplant, um, it's a pretty pricey rental that they have to get. And so we are hoping to be able to help cover that rental. I was just really thankful for my friend, Eric Frazier, who owns Fraser Construction and also is a district employee at Lebanon Community School District to, to have his involvement and his expertise there. It, was, it just made it run uh, really, really well. Dave Jalot called me. He and I have done a lot of projects together. We went to high school together and so we've known each other for a long, long time. Uh, he's a very good friend. And uh, he said, hey, Fraser, uh, how would you feel about helping kind of guide a project? I said, well, that would be uh, great. What's it gonna entail? He goes, well, we're gonna build a tree house. I thought, eh, tree house, no worries. I got that. So we uh, started talking back and forth a little more and we started understanding that the tree house couldn't actually be attached to a living movable tree without possibly damaging it. So we decided to put together a nifty little plan to build a house in the tree on stilts. When we first started talking about the project, you know, Eric asked some basic questions. How big of a clubhouse do you want? And do you want it to have a deck? And what, where would the stairs go? And all of those things that you need to know ahead of time in order to build out some plans. And so he walked out, essentially walked the whole floor plan with us, talked us through the size and how it would fit in the backyard. We walked the backyard to make sure and, and kind of imagine how it would fit sitting up in the trees, right? Because we built it on stilts between the trees and where the staircase would fall. Um, and so that was all very, very mapped out um, with Eric's guidance. And, um, and yeah, it just turned out, it turned out beautifully. They were able to set the poles one day and do the flooring. And then we worked another day on putting together the walls. And then we were able to bring everything together on red day. Early on in the project, um, one of the things that we started thinking about was what the clubhouse was going to look like on the inside. We wanted it to be a space for Riley. Um, we also knew that she was only a few years away from being a teenager, so we didn't want her to outgrow it too fast. We made some special time, some special arrangements here at the office for her to meet us and go over some ideas to, we put a little Pinterest board together with some things that her mom and she had both shared that she would like um, to just make sure that we were really putting something together that was Riley. We did some shopping on, on the back end and we actually ended up with way more than we could fit in the clubhouse. <laughs> um, so that was a good problem to have. So we had um, started a GoFundMe account and we have gotten some nice donations from different individuals in the community. We got, of course, like lumber donated and things that cost and things, which was awesome. We got a ton of flowers that made everything come together. Um, you know, we started that morning at a little before, well, it was a little, maybe a little after seven o'clock in the morning, about 7.15, got everything laid out and going for the day. And it was just great. We even had people that knew the family came by and brought us food, uh, which was great. And Marianne Honeyman uh, brought us lunch. And, and it, it was a wonderful day and the energy there was so awesome. And um, 
we you know had all those folks that were working there and then even people stopping in you know we had Trey Kennedy stop in and gave us a gift certificate to give to the family um, a neighbor stopped by gave us some cash which we were able to give to the, the family to have them go to dinner on their way so it would kind of delay them on coming so we get the project done and it was a good thing that all happened because that you know our, our reveal was at six o'clock and at six o'clock we were still painting <laughs> so it was it we had to be delayed about a half an hour um, but it came all together and at 6 30 she came on in and it was a, a wonderful time and it just really filled all of our love buckets that we were able to make her you know smile and laugh and have a really great time with her family we were really thankful that warehouser um donated some lumber uh summit was absolutely fabulous to work with uh, some hardware here in Lebanon. They were just Johnny on the spot on, on every single request we had. Uh, so we're really thankful for that. Chris Giles, a special shout out to him. He, he uh, was there early every single time we were working on that. And so we we're really, really thankful for his efforts. Also really thankful for Carmen and Don Robinson who donated um, some plants and had a fundraiser uh, for the, uh, for this project that was a big help and the school district really got behind uh, behind this also and uh, helped helped raise a lot of money for Riley. Katie Schofield who designed and built a, a wall desk for the clubhouse that was incredible. If we had the limitation of doing it on our own without the help of the community it would have been a very different end result. Her smile was amazing and so the project was amazing. It worked out very well. I was pleased with every single aspect. When Riley returned from Portland that day, and, um, we had the streets lined, um, and then she came out and got out of the car and got to walk around to the back and and see uh, and basically see the paint drying from the uh, from the big rush to finish. So that was definitely my favorite part of it. Is this a parade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. It is awesome. She's 
said she's gonna move out of her bedroom. No, I didn't. I did not say that. So what do you say? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, this project could not have happened without Frazier, without Eric Frazier, so I want everybody. Can I give him a high five? Give him a high five. Amazing, and a thank you all for coming out and helping. Um, we just were overwhelmed, and I think we're all a little glad that we pulled it off. <laughs> and didn't have to tell you to come back tomorrow. <laughs> so, you're welcome. In my room, and just swing your chair. Wow.